Uh, this is part two of how to drive a manual transmission. Uh, we're doing um, how to drive a 10 speed manual transmission uh, truck. So I'm gonna head up, we're actually downhill. Uh, it, it matters a lot if you're loaded or you're empty. If you're empty, right now I have a big tanker back there, uh, water tank, but right now it's empty. That's why I'm shooting the video now. When it's loaded, sometimes it's hard to get into gear. You have to be real precise to get into gear, especially when you're going up a hill. Because more, when you go uphill, the transmission uh, does more work and there's pressure on it more to climb. So we might have a little bit of an issue going up the hill. Let's hope not. I release the, the parking brake. I depress my clutch. I get into first towards me all the way down. Signal, mirror, blind spot. Okay, I'm gonna move off. One, two, I'm in second. Third, it's going good. Fourth. I get my rev up to two, uh, 2025. Five. I'm in fifth. So if you look, I'm going uphill. Look in front, uphill. It's clearing up now. We're on a country road. Uphill. I don't want to change more. Five gonna take me up a hill. A general rule is the same gear that you climb a hill is the same up you want to go down too to keep hold the truck back. Okay, I'm gonna go into six. I flip it. I wait a second, uh, probably 10 seconds. I get into neutral and I bring it all over. Down to me, over to me, and back down. It's first gear position. I'm in six right now. I'm going into seven. Neutral, straight up. Well, not, yeah, straight, straight up without any pushing to either side. So sack, it's the same as sacking gear position. That's di the direct middle upwards. All right, it's an 80 zone, so I'll try to get up to faster speeds. I'm cruising at 60 right now. I am in uh, seven gear, 60, the RPM is, is high right now. It's over 2,000 RPM, between 2,000 and 2,500 RPM. I floor it, I'm not getting anything more. I release the gas. Too quick. I gas again, I come off, I bring it straight back. I'm in eight. I'm in eight gear. I get pick up some more speed. It's a bit of a hill on the road. Eight, nine. You release the gas, you take it out of gear, and you push it straight into the gear. You have to do it in the perfect time. The sweet spot is about 1500 RPM when you're going up a hill. All right? So we're in nine gear, I'm at about uh, 1,600 RPM, 80 kilometers. Uh, that's the speed limit for uh, this road, going downhill. As I go downhill, I'm gonna bring it into 10. We don't really need 10 gear right now, but it's in 10. The RPM drops under 1,500 RPM right now. So it's between uh, 10, uh, 1,000 RPM and 1,500, all right? went a little bit over I went to like about 85 because um, it was downhill I wanted to show you the extra speed so gear down now nine eight seven six Low range, I'm stopped, so I, I just jump, I jump uh, to second gear. Third. Fourth. Fifth. When, when you're slowing down, if the stop comes up before you're there, you can, you can just uh, stop and um, if you're in a little bit of a roll, you can go to second or third. All right, you don't have to gear it all the way. If it's a straight road and you have lots of time, you could um, gear all the way down to one. All right, I'll just pull over and end this video for you guys. Um, so that's, you can stop in, in probably any gear, right? You can always stop in any gear, watch your light. If you're really heavy and you're going downhill, you wanna use a, your gear to stop because your your brake is is gonna get hot after a while. You, it's air brake. What happens 
if you apply brakes a lot I'm gonna do another video on, on, on brakes for you when you're going downhill and loaded because air brakes is pretty tricky um, what I didn't tell you is that um, you, when you just start a truck you have to build your air up to about 90 90 to 120 PSI because uh, truck the brake uh, give me the brake works with air pressure all right so these are my um, primary and secondary um, gauges uh, air tanks all right so the truck is can function well because it's 220 uh, 120 PSI every time I apply brake I'm gonna apply the brake now okay if you can notice the air drops see how quick the air drops so when you're going downhill and you're doing a lot of braking you you could go out of air and when you get into the red zone what happened I'll show you I'm stopped right now so I'll, I can show you see it comes up air brake it warns you first that you're going low I'm pumping the brake right now all right so we're 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 in low air we're we're in low range. If I try to move the truck right now, it will not move. You hear the buzzer? The buzzer comes on to warn you that you're you it's it's low air. So that buzzer warns you. Once it drop under 55 psi, that buzzer comes on. Let me try to drive and see what happens. Just to show you, the truck. It's still going, but it's dragging. It's dragging its feet, okay? Because the um, the brakes are on. To build it up now, I'm gonna rev it. I'm revving it. The buzzer gonna stop in a few. There you go. Pressing gas. Pass. Uh, 60 psi you can see it's it's a red zone so now the buzzer stops again okay um, engine brakes helps a lot when you're going downhill but most when you're carrying heavy loads you need to use your engine brake all right to help you slow down but in residential areas you can't use that so driving a truck requires you with air brakes equipped with air brakes requires you to have um your, your, in Toronto it's called in, in Ontario it's called your air brakes endorsement which is your Z on your license so I have an AZ license which is a tractor trailer I can drive tractor trailers and I um, can drive straight trucks dump trucks all of that what if you don't have a Z endorsement you can drive trucks with air brakes so when you do your Z endorsement um, for schools in Toronto for uh, Z endorsement uh, check the comments below. I'm gonna put the uh, number in the greater Toronto area Scarborough uh, Mississauga Toronto I'm gonna put uh, phone numbers for school that are recommended that you can go and get your air brake endorsement And then if you have a G license you get your air brakes endorsement Then you move you go to the ministry and get your either your your, your D your straight truck license or your AZ Which allows you to drive tractor trailer and straight trucks. All right guys I hope this video was helpful. Uh, do me a favor. Well, this video mainly was uh, how to change up, ch change gear, shift going up and sh and stopping by uh, by slowing down, down shifting to slow down and stop. Okay, guys. If you like it, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, leave a question, a comment, no problem. I'll get back to you. Do me a big favor, will you? Just type um, what location you're watching this video from. I'm in Toronto right now, Toronto, Canada. Um, wherever whatever part of the world you're watching from just do me a favor just tell me the city and or the country all right thanks guys take care bye